Another review. This is another one of David Johnson's bats from Tasmania. This one is a Spartan MSD7 limited edition. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven grains. I'm unsure what the price range is on this bat. Um, comes with a 39.5 millimeter edge, middle position, and it peaks at 67 on the spine. Probably, well, you can see it through this. It's about a three mil concave on that. I don't know if I measured the toe. Yeah, I did measure the toe. 27 mil toe and 16 mil at the top. Not a uh, yeah, fairly, um, you know, large amount of concaving all the way through here. Uh, square toe at the bottom. And probably a four and a half mil camber. One of the defining things about the MSD is this huge bow that it comes with. It's got a really pronounced bow on it. Now, a Spartan I thought was made by... Um, FC Sondi, but no longer. Doesn't have the stamps, so I don't know who makes these at the moment. Uh, width wise, let's have a look. Well, well that's interesting. It's a millimetre over, it's 108.9. Uh, so, this bat here is obviously a hitter's bat. As you know, David likes the heavy bats from that mangled bat that uh, I reviewed. Let's give it a tap up. I would say this would probably be grade oh, two. It seems like it's got a stain here. Apparently it was ordered knocked. Um, so I'm not sure. It was ordered knocked and delivered within a day. It's got some denting down at the toe here, but that will come out when I knock it. Um, so this is the first time I tapped it up, just like the other bat. It's quite hit hard. authenticity stamp on it. Uh, handle is round and I think you can see the grains running pretty much straight through the toe. Could be a grade one, low grade one, I'm not sure. All right, we'll turn it around, I'll bounce a ball on it. Okay, once again, kookaburra four piece. Definitely it felt a lot harder, pinged a lot nicer. It's going to go off with the juke. Yeah, it pinged everywhere. It's very nice. Very nice. So looks on everything, guys. It doesn't really matter what the grain number is, as long as it's been prepared correctly uh, and pressed well. In this case, it's got a machine knocking. I don't know what's going on here. That might actually be in the wood, but the sort of stains here tell me it's something else. It looks like grease or some sort of spray grease on it. Um, See, so yeah, I'm going to clean that up and fix up the toe for him. I think it's pretty nice. He said something was wrong with the grip, but... Looks okay to me. So, yeah, I'm actually surprised by this. And uh, now it's 214 dead. And it picks up a lot nicer than the uh, mangled. Feels, to be honest, it picks up like 210 in the hands. Um, I could use this. 
So the big difference between bats that have heavy concaving and bats that are full as far as pickup, that much is true. And it's because the concaving allows that wood to be more evenly distributed, whereas if you're going full, as you reach the peak, you're putting much more of the mass down near the toe. More mass near the toe means that you, know, you have a heavier swing weight. Whereas by concaving out, you can bring adjust the, the mass to come more up the bat. So yeah, not bad. Um, good effort by Spartan. The Spartan MSD7.